Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Palst here. I have a great story. STEM jobs with animals. And really what I want our focus to be today is looking for a sidebar. Because sometimes authors and illustrators will use sidebars to give them information. And while you're reading a text, you'll see the sidebar off to the side or sometimes even below um, uh, the picture or, or the some of the writing. And so we're looking for the sidebar to give inf extra information about the text. So let's keep an eye out for that. What is a stem? A zookeeper prepares lunch for an elephant. A veterinarian gives a puppy a shot. An engineer designs a new type of chicken coop. These jobs all seem different, but they all begin with a stem subject. Stem is a short way to talk about fields of science, technology, engineer, and mathematics. Stem jobs are careers for the future stem jobs meet new meet needs people have they will supply answers to questions we haven't even thought of yet a stem education can prepare you to find the next great discovery and here we go right there on the sidebar perfectly on the right hand side a little more information and it says what is stem it's an acronym so the s stands for science it's t stands for technology the e stands for engineering and the m stands for mathematics do feed the animals. Visiting a zoo can be fun, but more goes on at the zoo than simply looking at animals. Before visitors arrive, a fury of action takes place. The director readies paperwork. Ticket sellers set up their booths before people arrive. The kitchen is busy preparing food for the animals. Zoos house animals from all over the world. They care for penguins, elephants, tarantulas, and lions, just to name a few. The zoo nutritionist knows exactly where the animals need to stay healthy. Zoo nutritionists make sure the animals get the right amount of nutrients to match their natural diet. Stem in action. Look at two or more pet food ingredient labels. If you don't have any pets, visit the pet store and look at the pet food labels there. Read the ingredient labels of dry dog food and dry cat food. The first item listed in the ingredients presented is the highest amount in the food. What is the first items listed for dog and cat food? How do the number of ingredients compare? Now compare dry dog food with wet canned dog food. What differences do you see on these labels? Compare food labels for different animals, like dogs, cats, fish, and gerbils. How do these ingredients compare? <clears throat> In the wild, elephants eat grass, fruit, leaves, and bark. They eat between 165 and 330 pounds daily. That's a lot of food. They spend 16 hours per day feeding and eating. Zoo elephants need less food because they don't have to work to find it. Each elephant eats about 125 pounds in one day. An elephant keeper makes sure the elephants are eating enough calories to stay healthy. Real stem jobs, the elephant keeper. This job includes training and bathing these large mammals. Elephants can be up to 13 feet tall. Keepers keep Keepers clean feet. File nails, bring feed, and weigh them. Do you guys see the next <clears throat> sidebar? You can point to it. Yep, there it is. Stem fast fact. Elephants are part of a small group called petroderms. The group includes other thick-skinned mammals like hippos and rhinos. Elephant keepers also exercise them and provide enrichment and play. This includes hiding treats and special training to these Intelligent mammals busy. Keep these intelligent mammals busy. Elephant keepers must be comfortable working with large animals. The job requires a background in biology or zoology to succeed in this competitive field. Keepers need good math skills and ability to communicate well. A positive attitude is also helpful, so it is a realistic idea of work and danger that goes with it. Pet gear. All pets need love. Most importantly, they need the right food and grooming. Pet groomers use tools like brushes, nail trimmers, and bathing tubs. Pet shampoos are made especially for animals. Ear care may require medication tools to apply it. Special clippers must be used to trim fur. Grooming requires a variety of tools. It is important to use the right tool for the right job. Engineers design products to fit different pet needs. Bristle brushes work on most pets. Long hair requires wire brushes. Pet shampoos are designed to protect soft skin and prevent drying. Stem in action. What makes a good brush? Find all the brushes and combs in your home. Gather hair brushes, toothbrushes, paint brushes, any other brushes you can think of. Now test each of these brushes on your hair. 
Rank each brush from best to worst for brushing hair. Look at the design of each of these brushes. Figure out why some brushes are better than others. Which brush was the best? What about its design made the best for your hair? Now, I'd be careful with this, boys and girls, for you to this um, experiment, ask your parents because you shouldn't be brushing your hair with like your dog's brush or a different type of brush. Only the ones in your bathroom. Cages, toys, litter boxes, leashes, and more are all designed especially for the pets that will use them. Pet owners have a lot of choices. If one product did not work well for their pet, they can likely find another that will do the job. Real STEM job. Product engineer. Pet supply companies are always building new tools to make pet care easier. Is the job of project engineer to develop the tools that pet owners need? They ask pet owners what problems they have caring for their pets. They look at how the pets behave. They look at the old products and how they can improve. Then they use this information to build something better. For example, product engineers work to make new and easy ways to clear cat litter. Now cats owners make use high special tech litter boxes. Robotic devices clearly dirty litter automatically. All right, on the farm. Many people who work with animals do so on farms. Farmers must have expert knowledge about the animals they raise. Farming in the United States is big business. In the United States, more than 51,000 dairy farmers produce milk that can be used to make cheese, butter, ice cream, and yogurt. Families own almost 97% of these farms. About 75% of the farms have fewer than 100 cows. Large dairy farms produce the largest percentage of milk, almost 85%. Here we go. I got a little graph here, a pie chart to dairy farm ownership. Family farms are 97%. That's that's pretty good. And the milk production, uh, factory farms is producing more milk than family farms. Okay. In addition to caring for animals, farmers must have strong business skills. They monitor how much milk their cows are producing and plan for the future. If their cows are not making enough milk to cover the cost of caring for the farm, the farmer will need to make changes to his or her business. And do you guys see the sidebar? Boom, there it is. Stem fast facts. An average U.S. cow produces about seven gallons of milk a day. That makes about 2,500 gallons a year for each cow. That's a lot of milk. I love milk. It's a lot. Stem in action. In a dairy farm, if a dairy farm has 75 dairy cattle and each cow produces seven gallons a day, what is the total amount of milk produced each day in the farm? 75 times 7 equals 525. The farm produces 525 gallons each day. Take it further. How many gallons would the farm produce each year? What would happen to the farmer's milk production if they sold five cows? Cows must be milked on a dairy farm of any size. Technology today makes milk machines milking easier than hand milking. Big farms often use milking parlor. Milking parlors bring the udders closer to a comfortable level of the milkers. Milk can go bad if it's not kept cool and treated to remove harmful bacteria. The process of heating food to remove bacteria is called pasteurization. Raw milk goes to the processors. There it is heated to a precise temperature and prepared to ship across the country. These products are unloaded at stores and sold. Hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls. See you soon.